Hello everybody and welcome to my new LP. This is going to be Resident Evil Zero for the Wii, obviously. Um, this is one of the newest, or I think possibly the newest, old school Resident Evil game. It's quite different from the standard ones. It's, um, it is quite hard as well in places. Um, but it is brilliant. And it's kind of... Um, not really well known in comparison to the others, mainly due to the fact that it was on the GameCube and then kind of ported very loosely um, to the Wii later on and it was kind of brushed under the carpet, um, which is a shame because it's fantastic. Um, and there's a lot of Resident Evil fans or people that you know casually like to play Resident Evil that don't even know about this game, which is sad. Um, there's also a lot of people that don't like it because they say they don't like the, the new enemies, they didn't like the partner system in it. I actually really did. It was refreshing. Um, but we shall get into these little differences as we uh, play the game. Now, let's just check out options. Rumble. I was going to say, this control pad doesn't even support Rumble, I don't think. Uh, game reset, key config, audio setup. Really? There's actually a mono setting? Right, key config. Trace. So this is what I'm using, kind of. Map screen. I really don't like this controller at all. I've got to be honest. Left stick and... Uh, switch character, select. Now there's kind of annoying uh, auto aim in these old Resident Evils which most people will know about. And oh I could use my GameCube controller. Bollocks. There's no way in hell I'm playing it with that. Oh no. Uh we'll go with the classic controller. So can you switch targets? I don't know what trace is. Maybe that's it. Map screen. Ah, change aim. Right, okay. Right, well, let's roll with that. Let's quit and begin the game. Now, I'm going to play on normal. I don't... I, I think the first time I played this, I played it on normal. And it is pretty hard, I've got to be honest. Um, and it's only hard for one particular enemy. And without spoiling anything, we cover that when we get to it. Easy, meh, I don't really play games on easy. Hard, I wouldn't even think about this game on hard, to be honest. Now, this isn't going to be a pro run. We're not going to be completing it in 56 minutes, anything like that. We're just going to go casually through it and experience the game together. Let's go. Resident Evil Zero. Now, this is the intro, so I'm going to mute the mic. A Midwestern town in America. Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Really? Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. I should hold off for a while. But I wonder how those R and D people would react to this.
began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court-martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. What an amazing phrase to start this game off. I love those phrases. You know you're about to start a good game, a good resi game when you read this. Now the first thing you'll notice about this game is it is absolutely gorgeous. They really outdid themselves with this graphically. Uh, and that adds so much to the atmosphere. Now we play as Rebecca Chambers. Um, she is the medic. She's actually quite a crap character um, to play as. She's not a crap character. She, you know, she's Rebecca Chambers. Um, but she's very weak. Uh, she can be killed in about three hits, something like that. Um, she starts off with. Uh, 30 rounds, a mixing set, and the standard handgun. Now this handgun that she starts with is crap. It's the weakest weapon in the game, I believe. Uh, we do get another handgun very soon that is so much more powerful. Um, now mixing herbs is her speciality. She can actually mix you know, the red and the greens and the greens and the blues. Um, so yeah, you need her for that, but she really is very weak, very inaccurate, and she starts with a crap gun. I don't know why they did that, because in my opinion they made her too weak, considering it looks like she's wearing a ballistic vest and all that. But there we are. Okay. So we are aboard the Ecliptic Express. It is pissing down outside. Um, and something really bad seems to have happened here. So let's explore. This really does look like a CG movie. I'd, I'd love to see them redo this in HD. Right. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The 
Zombies look fantastic in this game as well. Oh hell. Right, so we start off screwed, but two rounds always drops that guy. Um, don't be fooled into thinking that zombies are weak in this game, they really aren't. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get the hell out of here. Ammo is very, very scarce in the beginning of this game. Once you get, look at it, it's gorgeous. Once you get going and you start picking up rounds left and right, it's not so bad. But to begin with, ammo is unbelievably rare. You really have to pick your fights. Um, which I guess is the way it should be. Um, so anyway, a lot of people were asking to have Rebecca Chambers in a game as a lead. And they delivered. Unfortunately, like I said, I do believe they've made her too weak. There's no reason for her to be this weak. But there we go. Right, so let's start exploring. You can see the uh, environments are really detailed. Ah, uh, looks like this poor fellow ate it in the bed. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. Uh, read into that what you will. Right, let's pick up these rounds because we are going to need every freaking bullet we can get. Ah, what do we have here? Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in groups, with us in the initial group, assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment, July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW Type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type Y139. Hang on a minute. One. That's a. Okay. Uh, there is still so much we don't know about the responses to the crustacean T virus. There is a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only in, uh, minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidality, size, uh, multiplic bleh, multiplication of internal toxins and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. Oh, umbrella. They never learn. But the sudden development of, shell res uh, of the shell results in corresponding fragility in certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. Well, that's only good for anyone that's against them. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting tip for something coming up, as you could probably guess. This lab we are going to, where they are pursuing the same research. Or were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research, June 19th. The day is finally approaching. I'm growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is... Oh, yeah. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Oh, yeah. What else could it be? Right. That's this room pretty much empty. Anything in the pocket? It's a finely tailored suit. There's nothing in the pockets. It looks like there's something there, though. You see that flashing? I'm going to examine that again. I'm not buying that. There's something there flashing. Right. something that's yeah how bizarre we'll take it 
Right, also, there, there's nothing in the pockets, but where was that then? Okay. Um, the rain is beating fiercely against the window. You wonder how long it will last. Also, there is no item boxes in this game. That is a lot of... Uh, that's a big thing that when people play this game blind, they don't understand. Um, the way item management works is you go into your inventory, and if you don't want it, you drop it on the floor. And you have to remember where you've put it. Although things are marked on the map. And it can make certain points of the game quite confusing. Because you do have to keep carrying equipment with you. Um, but I don't mind it. It was okay. It was okay. Doesn't seem to be anything of use. So this is a save room. We might as well pick up the ink ribbons. Now, you can mark items on your map. Um... You can go up to them, look at them like this, and then say no. And now, if we go to our map, where the button that was, and, oop, uh, A, item list, there you go, that's now marked there. Frustratingly, uh, you can only have X amount of items on each floor. Um, that's kind of a very bizarre limitation um, and that's the only thing I don't like about the item management system I think you should be able to put as many items on the floors as you on the floor as you can it just doesn't make sense otherwise right now we're gonna grab that anyway because then that I combine it um, what have we got here we've got a herb um, we'll take it why not now, as you can see, your character can only hold six items, uh, which really is not a lot. Okay. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arclay Mountains lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation units are already on site and opening uh, the investigation. If you want your team to provide support, the following orders will uh, following orders William Birkin, you can just about make out, and investigation units. The rest is torn and unreal. Right, so old William Birkin, if anybody's following the story or know him. Um, yeah, so that's the first mention of him. Right, let's continue. This is a beautiful train. Very retro. What have we got here? Anything? does pay to search everywhere in this game. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. Okay. Now, here we have our first key. The train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. The train key. Okay. Ah. Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You were the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, uh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Hmm. Wait! You're under arrest. No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. And our old buddy decides to pop in. Edward! Are you alright? He happened? really doesn't look too good. It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful. Full of zombies and 
Monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. Ah! And here's our old friend Cyrus. Come on, Matt. They're not too bad in this game. Um, now nah, we're good. I don't like reloading if we don't need to. Now, yeah, our friend Edward's finished. Edward, you were just you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. Oh, ah, Always check your dead friend's pockets. You never know what you might find. This body has white marks all over it. I got a feeling we'll be seeing him later. Oh. Come on, buddy. Let me see ya. There we go. Come on. As with most Resident Evils, you can tell that the area is clear when the music stops. Um, now, I don't know how long I've been recording for, so I might actually make the first save here and call this the end of a video. 20... yeah. We'll make the first part a short one. Because it's good to uh, actually get a save in place. This game, like I said, is hard and you can brutally die um, causing you to lose many hours of work. So we're not going to take that chance. I have briefly tested it. Right, and that ends part one. Thanks for watching, and uh, more to come very, very soon.